Okay, so now we've gone through part one and part two, and to refresh your memory, part one was dedicated to what the virus is, what it's made out of, how it translates its information, and how it spreads through the body. The second part was dedicated to seven compounds that are found in foods uh, that you can take that actually interfere with those processes of attachment, of infiltration, translation, assembly, and reassembly, and then exiting the, the cell. And today is part three, which is dedicated to the nutraceuticals that I provide for my patients that have those compounds in them. All right, now that we've reviewed part one and part two, we're going to get into part three, the nuts and bolts of part three, which is the nutraceutical supplements that have these compounds within them. They have the quercetin, the EGC3, the, the lutein, the norangenin, the hispertin, the hispidine, as well as the norangenin and trypsin. Uh, these compounds are known to interfere with viral replication and delivery through the body, so they're going to overall reduce the stress on your immune system at the same time as preventing the spread to be at a higher level to the other parts of your body. So before I get started with the individual ones, I just want to reiterate that there is no cure for COVID-19 SARS-2 virus. What we have to do is we have to increase our immune function and the process of interfering with viral replication so that we have better outcomes. Uh, these products are in nature. So nature's products are different. What the compounds in nature do is they actually are by design to activate your immune system and your inflammatory response, responses by sending messages to your genetic material. That's what vitamins do. That's what the foundational nutrients do as well. And these, these supplements and these compounds within these foods that are in concentrated form in these supplements do the same thing. So uh, the medical profession is, is, has passed drugs recently through the FDA that are actually known to try to do the same things. However, they have unintended consequences that could be very, very severe, sometimes worse than the actual virus itself. Okay, so let's get started here. The first uh, compound that I'd like to talk about or supplements or is, is called quercetin and quercetin interferes with the uh, attachment of the virus, the infiltration of the virus and the translation of the genetic material to make viral parts. So I have three basic ones that are four, three basic ones that I use. This one is called quercetin excorbate, which is a combination of vitamin C and quercetin in active forms, the buffered vitamin C. Also, I use quercetin and nettles uh, for lots of different reasons, primarily for as an antihistamine, but the nettles and the quercetin together are, are synergistic in the effect of reducing a, something called a cytokine storm, which is going to be, which I'm dedicating the, the next video to, uh, and that's where the damage is done. So it's important to understand that uh, once you know, the virus is being vilified for this whole thing, but it's actually our immune system and the relationship between uh, the immune system and this cytokine storm that actually causes the tissue damage. Now, the, the third product here is uh, called Histate. This product is a uh, has quercetin and also has luteolin in there as well. And uh, this is delivered differently. This does not come through the colon. Uh, it comes directly in through the mucus lining uh, of your mouth and oral cavity as well as the esophagus, about 70% of it, and then the remainder gets absorbed through the small intestine. And there's two strategies here to get this stuff into your body. Uh, one, you want to get it directly into the bloodstream right away because it'll get to the lungs faster. And the other strategy is get it through the colon, and that's where a lot of your immune system is being um, activated because 70% of your immunity is in the colon. Uh, so there's two different ways to get the stuff into the body. The most important thing is that it needs to get in, into the lung uh, capillary beds and 
work against those uh, receptors, those ACE2 receptors, which are not only in the lungs, they're everywhere in your body. All right, so that is quercetin. The, the next one we'll talk about is called EGCG, which is epigalactone catechin gallate. This is a big, uh, uh, one, of the most, one of the main catechins and polyphenols in um, green tea. A green tea has a for every cup of green tea, a good source of green tea has about 100 milligrams of this EGCG. So uh, if you're not a green tea drinker, this is really good. This has 250 milligrams in the, the dosing of, of the EGCG is somewhere, depending on your size, somewhere between 600 and 800 milligrams a day. Now, if you're going to drink green tea, I would suggest you to drink a decaffeinated green tea because it's hard to load up the EGCG without caffeine from green tea or get a decaf blend, organic, of course. Okay, the next one we're going to talk about is luteolin. Now, I have three products for luteolin that comes in the uh, immunoberry. And this is the liquid form of the immunotone plus, which I'm out of, so I don't have any of that right now, but it is on order. Uh, that's a big hitter. Luteolin, once again, and I also have uh, the Histate 2. Uh, Histate also has luteolin in it. Luteolin is not easy to get into the body, and it's uh, there's a lot of poor luteolin products out there. The more I look into it, it's uh, very difficult. A lot of them are extra. They use uh, peanuts and grains and things like this. Uh, P, uh, they have some P luteolin extracts out there, but I, 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 I still don't, uh, I don't have those studied. Uh, I only have the ones that I carry studied, and the luteolin is very difficult to get in. That's why I carry it primarily in the histate product because it is a liposomal delivery. Now, <clears throat> to refresh your memory about what luteolin does, it actually um, is involved with the uh, attachment of the uh, virus on the cell membrane and the receptor site there, as well as this is interesting because this is really the only one, only compound, only flavonoid that actually works to uh, deactivate the um, the virus from coming together and forming uh, new parts. So that's a very important uh, important. Uh, compound to have in your arsenal. Okay, so the fourth compound that we're looking at is hispertin, and hispertin is um, a important compound because it does two things. It actually blocks and it interferes with the ACE2 receptor attachment as well as the translation of genetic material from the virus uh, in our cells, uh, two compounds that I, two two products that I use is one's called the immunoberry. Again, this is lots of elderberry in there as well as other uh, extracts from uh, the dark dark um, cherries and berries. Very very valuable there. And uh, another one is it's it's a brother compound that's in cup that's in tablet form, a little bit more complex is immunotone plus. Uh, so that is. That is hispertin. Now the third, okay, so now we're going to look at hispertin with the D. Hispertin is also associated uh, with the interference of the attachment to the docking site on the cell receptor from the virus is interfered with utilizing this compound as well as in translation of genetic material again. So it kind of but to strangle hold on the virus ability to make its own parts from our own DNA or RNA in our cells. So there's three products here that I utilize here. One is, of course, the, the immunoberry liquid, uh, as well as the immunotone plus. And there's a third product here. I'm just going to hold it up to you. It's it has the citrus bioflavonoids in there, and it has 50% hispertin in there. This is uh, another one that I use that I'm out of. This is another big hitter. Uh, people are going for that because my patients are educated and they want those types of things. So those are on order as well. There is a back order, but they should be here in about a week. All right, so let's talk about let's talk about neuraginin. Neuraginin is a product that I I uh, don't sell to everyone, and the reason why is because it's uh, highly involved in uh, your liver, and it can activate or suppress uh, medications. So, so 
They're on a statin uh, for cholesterol, a calcium channel blocker for hypertension, a non-sedating type of antihistamine such as Hismanol, anti-anxiety drugs such as Valium or Xanax, any of the diazepams uh, as well as some of the SSRIs, uh, then you could not take this stuff. Last but not least are the immunosuppressive medications that a lot of my patients are on. So I guide them away from Naranjan and, and I, don't, I don't have a store of, that has uh, Naranjan in it. So um, you have to get that from your foods. And if you're on these medications, as a matter of fact, uh, even if you're... <laughs> You have to speak with your pharmacist or your doctor if you're going to if you want to take it because um, of the problems it can have with the medication and how your liver um, processes them. So get them from foods. Once again, the grapefruit, uh, black cherries, uh, Greek oregano, cocoa, as well as water mint are the major sources of aragonin. But what it does do is it actually interferes with the receptor site and the attachment site on the virus to the cell, as well as the uh, translation of genetic information. So let's get into our last one, which is trypsin. Now, trypsin's not made, uh, it's not, a food, not in food. You make it in your body. Your pancreas makes it for digestive proteins. And this is an extremely valuable uh, product to have as a compound in your, in your daily regime. A lot of my patients have weak pancreases and they don't digest food well, so I support them with digestive enzymes and the digestive enzymes that I do have, have trypsin in them. Um, there was a study, one study that I looked at that was a brilliant study and it was, it's posted on the CDC about trypsin and how trypsin interferes with viral uh, reassembly. So uh, that, that study is available for you online at, at the CDC if you want to check that one out. Uh, so I have three products that I use. So they're all different types of enzymes. They all have trypsin in them. And uh, this one's called Biozyme. I use this one. This one also has quercetin into it. So that's uh, small amounts of, of trypsin and, uh, and adequate amounts of quercetin that actually can interfere with the attachment site as well as infiltration and the translation of the information as well as the reassembly process. Another one that I use here is uh, Biozyme. Biozyme is a very powerful protease, proteal proteolytic digestive enzyme. We use this for patients who have trouble with the pancreas, they have weak pancreas, or they have a tremendous amount of inflammation, they need circulation to the far parts of their body that they're not getting. Um, all, and then my last other, probably two other products here, but uh, they're both the same, are pancreatic enzymes. This one comes from uh, pork, and the other one comes from lamb, the digestive enzymes uh, for the pancreas. Um, I use for those who have a weak pancreas uh, function, as well as patients who have autoimmune disease, and I use it in a protocol in which I support patients who are on uh, cancer therapies as well. But all these products should be taken between meals. Uh, not you know, the only reason why is because you don't want your food to compete with the absorption ratio, uh, rate of these food of, of these compounds. So uh, these are all taken between meals, which is a half hour before a meal or two hours after a meal. All right. In conclusion, these these seven compounds can be found in my pharmacy, and we're gladly available for you to learn more about them and apply them to your life. The goal here is to increase your immune system, and these which all these compounds do, as well as specifically for the COVID-19. And this information is not in your mainstream media. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, my uh, challenge to you is to get outside, get more exercise than you normally do during this quarantine, as well as uh, try to work on the mindset because we're in panic mode. A lot of people are, but this is an opportunity for you to change uh, a lot of behaviors and attitudes right now that are, are, are designed that, that can be improved, that can improve your overall health and immune function. And of course, uh, the most valuable thing you can do is choose the foods. Uh, these types of, and these compounds and then the foods that are available for you, you can find at health food stores, you can find them at, at regular markets and even Costco. So you can find all these things in the stores and the food groups, but when it comes to the nutrition, I, I recommend that you consult with somebody like myself and we're available for that. 
Um, I want you to look below and get the contacts for my office. And if you like this video, uh, you give me a thumbs up. But other than that, you can um, please, if you can subscribe to my uh, YouTube station where there's more information by hitting the bell uh, below. Well, I hope this has been helpful for you. This is Dr. Wade Binley. Once again, looking out for you and hope you're doing well during this quarantine. And this is how you can take advantage of this time to improve your overall health. Thank you for listening.